Hey guys, today I'm going to do something a little out of the normal for me. Um, I'm going to skip the gear review this, that I usually do, and as well as the usual knife stuff and Zippo stuff, to do a little unboxing just because I feel like it. I think I could probably do this on camera just because I wanted to open it up. So, here's the box, tiny box, got it from USPS, about the size of my hand. But we aren't really talking about the box. So, today I just wanted to kind of use this video to introduce a knife that I'm going to be reviewing in the near future. So, here it is. Oh, upside down. The Gerber Torch 2 Tactical Folding Knife. Um, made by Gerber, as you can see, right there. And uh, this knife is actually quite old. Uh, I used this about uh, four months ago. Four months yeah about four months ago I got this knife but I haven't done a review on it just because I thought mm, I should wait and see if this is really such a good knife that I should review it or if it's bad then yeah the viewers wouldn't really want to see that anyways unless I was gonna do a really um, bad review on it so I took some time practicing uh, cutting using this knife because it was the first medium-sized folding knife that I got other than Swiss Army knives and some small folding knives. So, yeah. And one very cheap knife that I got from Walmart, so I'll review that in the future too. Maybe. So, without further ado. Wonderful. Uh, flipper on this knife. Very big flipper. Very easy to flip out. A little afraid that it'll get caught in your pocket, but uh, there probably won't be a lot of um, there probably won't be a lot of problems like that. So let's just open it up, and of course, opens up like a charm. And of course, it cuts like a charm too. Very clean cut, so it can use as you can use it as a utilitarian knife. Again. The Gerber Torch 2 Tactical, partially serrated. I don't really like serration knives, but this serration isn't really that aggressive. It actually does help contribute to some of the cutting you might do. But this is a tactical knife, and it is not a utilitarian knife. And it is cheap enough so that it's affordable, it's a good medium-sized carry knife, but definitely not EDC, that's not its use, and definitely not used for batoning. Please don't think this is for batoning. And it is a Tonto style, which I will get into in the review when I make one. So, let's just get going. In here, we have this little French horn uh, mouthpiece that I got. Very nice. As well as... Yep information yeah. pretty sure you already saw my address but if you haven't does not matter I'm not afraid uh, this is the French horn mouthpiece that I ordered um, it's the Lasky brand 725 G G for general and I do play an instrument that is why I wanted to unbox this it's a great mouthpiece a little pricey um, it goes for about $69.99 on a wonderful website called www.bw.com, which is woodwindbrasswind.com. Or you can go to smart, uh, not smart, um, musicandarts.com, their website. They do have this knife. Knife. Uh, two into the knife reviews. No, they do have this mouthpiece. But this is only if you're a French horn player, which I'm going to be directing this to, of course. If you just want to see an unboxing, of course, this is what it is. Now, it comes in a very nice container, plastic container, popped out. It is a very, very, very nice sort of rubberized plastic on the side of the canister, as you can see right here. And this is like heavy-duty plastic. It's 720G, Lasky on it. So, let's just get it out. 
stuff, throw this aside. And it comes in a actually a very high quality Ziploc bag. At least it feels high quality to me, but I'm not gonna use it. It wasn't zipped at all actually. So that is a bad thing. And when I bring it out, right here, here it is. And it looks amazing. Of course, all French horn mouthpieces do when they come out, they're new, sparkly. Just wait until you go through them with it. And of course, it says Lasky 720G on it. Uh, I really don't know. Even if this will get it. Lasky 725G. 725, sorry. I said 720. Uh, 725. And of course, I won't be getting into a review of it now just because I haven't played it yet. I only played it once at. Uh, my practice, uh, my tutor did have one of them, so she let me borrow it and try it out a bit. Uh, and this does look like it's a fingerprint magnet. Yep, it's a fingerprint magnet. Just like most shiny stuff, the shine doesn't last unless you take good care of it. So I'm going to go polish that up. Of course, right now, since I just got it, I'm going to be babying the knight knife. That's the second time, alright? You should just play a drinking game, you know? Whenever I say knife, just go, bottoms up! Nah, I'm kidding. Of course not. You wouldn't do that thing to me, would you? So, this is the uh, mouthpiece. French horn mouthpiece, that's the... <laughs> I had to correct myself. But yeah, this is the French horn mouthpiece. Seven t Lasky 725G. It's a wonderful mouthpiece. Retails around like a hundred dollars I think, hundred twenty, but you can get it at the website I said www.bw.com for sixty nine ninety nine. Great mouthpiece. I'll, of course I'll ha I'll try it out, but I'm pretty sure it helps with your range and it does allow the transitions to be a little more smooth. Now if you wanted to look at a knife review and you saw this because I usually do knife reviews, I'm sorry, this probably won't even interest you a bit, so you can just tune out. <laughs> but if you watch this far, I appreciate it. So I'll incorporate this knife just a little. I only touched up this part of the knife a bit with my sharpening blade, sharpening stone. When like a few months after I got it, so the bottom is still completely factory edge. So let's see how well that'll cut. And it cuts no problem. Now, you may think that I haven't used this knife a lot, trust me, I have. As you can see, it does kind of catch a little, but... Nope, no problems whatsoever. And as for Tonto Blades, known for their stabbing, of course, standing through paper won't be anything. So, here we go. We have this wonderful cardboard box. I'm going to see if I can get it right into it. Regular backhand grip. Very comfortable, by the way. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. But as you can see, it has penetrated all the way in. Good night. Good for usual use, stuff like that. So again, I'll see if I'll put out a review of this in soon. And thanks for watching.